you were a GM, would you make a move for Watson? Absolutely not. Too uncertain, right? Just need more information. Yeah, it's 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 a lot too. Also, not even what you're giving up as a franchise, just the the, the reputation of your franchise, mm-hmm. the 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 baggage that is going to come with that. You really, we don't really know what the consequences are going to be. We're talking about 24 civil cases. We know 24 is an absurd number, but now these is like real actions, and it's been lingering on. And for all we know, it's like there's a lot of validity to this. You know, look, innocent until proven guilty, obviously, but. Just based on what's been transpiring the past few months, it's hard to feel optimistic about it. Like, to me, there's going to be a severe punishment for Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Now, can you look at it from the flip side of a maybe you can buy low on Watson? Or do you think the asking price doesn't change? I think after the DeAndre Hopkins thing, Houston's not buying low ever again. No, <laughs> after what they did. Well, it was a second round pick and David Johnson, right? Yeah. Like to a wide receiver in the prime of his career, yeah. probably another four to five more all pro right. caliber seasons. And I just think the Texans, they have a whole new regime now. Like, I don't think the, it's going to be by law. I think for them, it's just they have nothing right now. They just, they're just going to look to collect as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like there's a team that you, you've you had a hard on for the Titans the last couple of years. Absolutely. Because in a world where it's all about throw the ball downfield 50 times, pass heavy. They have beaten teams via old school smash mouth. 13 pass attempts from Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, what's the what's the term? I'm already forgetting. Uh, from Mike Malarkey. Was it not smash mouth? Ground and pound? No. Uh, what? S- smash mouth? Yeah, smash mouth was football. It smash, he had a term. They had a term, Mike Malarkey. Uh, Mike Malarkey was one of the most conserved head coaches either. Uh, ever, excuse me. Um. Oh man, it was a hilarious term too, and people were making fun of for it. And then next thing you know, the Titans are winning playoff games because they're running the ball thirty times. Uh, all right, I forgot what the term is, but basically, the Titans. I just appreciate the Titans for being very old school in an era where everyone's about throwing the ball. I thought it was really cool what they did beating the Ravens, uh, beating the Patriots. Through just pretty much, we're gonna ride Derrick Henry, and if you don't stop him, that's too bad. Patting so. myself on the back, I told you guys money line those games. There you go. So, I just and I just think Mike Vrabel, I think he's a very likable coach. It's just the Titans to me, one of them were fun, just unorthodox teams, and then now they get the king himself, Julio Jones. Julio, like it's it. There's a lot to be excited about. I don't look. You could tell me, okay, defense is questionable. Look, it's been questionable, but. They've won the AFC South. They've been a very good team. So they're competing. So now, given they made the trade, I think Bud Dupree's a damn good signing. Uh, we'll see about Janoris Jenkins. I wish it was four years ago. I'd be a lot more excited. But I'm feeling the Titans. I don't know. There's a cap there, but they're going to make people – they're going to intimidate teams. To me, there isn't a better trio from a running back to wide receiver standpoint. No question. Yeah. Not up for the base. Like, I love Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, and Thielen. You're not coming close to what the no, Titans no, 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 no. So, yeah, I'm buzzing about the Titans, man. The beanie will be ready. Okay, so they're the favorite to win the division, especially after the Carson Wentz news. Mm-hmm. I, I think that's that's fair. That's appropriate. Um. The issue that I have with the Titans is not so much the defensive concerns because I do think they're going to be playing with leads Mm -hmm. because of just like, bro, I was the moment that he lost Corey Davis Mm -hmm. and Jonu Smith. Thank God I didn't put these bets in, Mm -hmm. but I was ready to put up like Patreon money, (laughs) ask for money from friends to Uh bet all A.J. Brown props over Uh catches, touchdowns, receiving yards, lead the league like they lost 52% of their targets. Absolutely, yeah. And then they get Julio. I still think A.J. Brown is going to have a juggernaut kind of season. And now, my big concern, if I'm a Titans fan, is none of these guys can get hurt. Because they are very top-heavy. Mm-hmm. Like, Yeah, I don't know who their backup running back is. I don't know who the backup running back is. Yeah. Josh Reynolds is the number three. Yeah. And then you got uh, Khalif Raymond, who yeah. just, like, does – if he's still there. Um, but it's just – like, it's great 
no debate, the best trio in football. Mm-hmm. And you got a quarterback in Tannehill who I've always been a fan of. Yeah. He's productive. You know, I, I, he's not someone that's going to always steal headlines. He's not going to make that wow throw, but he is very efficient. Let's start off with the addition. Is it Julio for you? It has to be. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't, there wasn't anyone that really stood out. Like, I like Bud Dupree. I think Marvin Jones at Jacksonville is quietly a very good mm-hmm, move. Mm-hmm. I think he could do some serious damage there with Trevor. But, you know, Julio Jones, we're talking about game-changing talent. And I'm just fascinated by, like, what do you do in the red zone against the Titans? <clears throat> you have a running back that good luck trying to bring him down with one person. You have A.J. Brown, who's just a monster in the red zone. Now you have Julio, who's for years been able to command double coverage and create openings. Like it, in the red zone, I, like they were like already, I believe, second last year with Arthur Smith. I could easily see them being the best team in the red zone, conversion wise. Khalif Raymond is on the Lions, by the way. Okay. So that proves my point even more that I have no idea who they're. They back don't have on. Adam Humphreys anymore. No. So right now the starters are A.J. Brown, Julio. Then Josh Reynolds, and then is Chester Rogers, okay. Nick Westbrook, Akinney, Des Fitzpatrick, Marcus Johnson, Cody Hosteller. Okay, not ideal. Joe Bear after Joe Bear <laughs> after the Juggernauts, yeah. the Eleven Boys. Um, okay, I did not pick Julio for this. Okay. Who are we going here? Trevor Lawrence. That's a great pick. The Jacksonville Jaguars. Are my favorite first to worst bet to make this year. Mm -hmm. I'm not picking them to win the division. Mm -hmm. Gambling purposes. They're 9-1 to to win the AFC South. We know automatically they're not going to be the worst team in that division. The Houston Texans got that. Trevor Lawrence is... Has been this generation's version of Andrew Luck. Like, dudes knew this guy was going to be the chosen one from high school. I always talk about the Elite 11 when Trent Dilfer had him. He's like, oh, Trevor, Trevor, come throw this poster out. He's like, oh, Trevor. Trevor, he's foaming at the mouth and shit. He has a fucking semi. He's like, oh, Trevor, you throw a great fade, man. Oh, boy, Clemson's going to be happy to have you. So he goes to Clemson, and he has, you know wins a national championship, Heisman finalist, the whole nine. And this dude is just solid. He was such a, like, no one talked about him coming into the draft because it was such a layup that he was going to be number one. It's like, let's not sing his praises. Let's talk about Justin Fields and Zach Wilson and Trey, and, Lance. And Trey Lance and all these other guys. Let's not even worry about Trevor Lawrence. Mm. He's the kind of guy who, a couple of years from now, you could be looking at the Jaguars as a team that you take serious if this guy pans out. I think they could attract free agents. That too, yeah. right? How many guys are going to be taking less money to go maybe chase a ring if this yeah. dude turns out to be everything that we're making him out to be? Right. Which is crazy to think about the Jaguars, but this is what happens when you find a franchise caliber guy. Dude, what were the Chiefs all these years? They were a very okay, make the playoffs yeah. often, yeah. bounced in the first round. Yeah. If you win they, a wild card they game, attracting big time. Talent. Yeah, same as the Bills. But you knew that there was levels to your ceiling. You right. knew that no matter what, with Alex Smith and all the other guys that were there prior to Mahomes, it was you're going to get there. And yeah, you might win a wild card game or some shit, but then you're going to get a, spanked by Pittsburgh and New a, England. There's a ceiling. There's a ceiling, right? And now all of a sudden, it's like, yo, mm. Mahomes and shit. Buffalo now with mm. Josh Allen. What was New England before Brady? Yeah, players want to go there now, yeah. right? So I think Trevor Lawrence going there, man, my number one addition, without a doubt. And I think from a betting standpoint, every year there's a team that goes from either worst to first or, or worst to a playoff appearance. The AFC is not exactly a juggernaut either. No. And I'm a little bit more concerned than what you seem to be about Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Now this injury to Carson Wentz, I think that kind of just eliminates the Colts for me. Mm-hmm. But... I think Trevor Lawrence, man, something special is going to go down in Jacksonville. We'll be talking about the Jaguars. Maybe next year, Trevor Lawrence, I'm talking about that year two leap MVP kind of candidate, you know? But for now, Marvin Jones there, DJ Chark, yeah. James Robinson, Travis Etienne. Yeah. I think I think this is going to be a, a LaVisca Chenault, who yeah. was every fantasy football Roto World experts darling mm-hmm. last year. They, they, got some, they got some talent there.